We have breaking news to report from overnight. A large search just ended moments ago after reports of a robbery and home invasion. It started in South Sacramento, but the chase ended on the Yolo Causeway on I-80. That's where we find ABC 10's Bridget Biolo. She is live in Yolo County. And Bridget, what do people need to know that live near the causeway? So there was a high speed chase just after midnight last night started in South Sacramento ended all the way here in Yolo County at the causeway where a group of individuals jumped out of their car into the wildlife area. As you can see, there is a lot of dry vegetation, plenty of places to hide. As you can see, it is very dark and that is where they hunkered down and took cover for five hours as there was a helicopter overhead, several drones, a K-19. SWAT as well, but there is an important update that just came in moments ago. They were able to find the suspects who police believe were armed. They did have they were involved in that home invasion police believe. So this was a very dangerous situation for much of the early hours. I want to bring in Sergeant Amar Gandhi with the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office. Uh, this was a, a multi agency effort. Sergeant, how did you come to a successful conclusion? Yeah, again, this is uh, just the benefit of a great partnership. Yolo County Regional SWAT team was there. Uh, we had our helicopter, drones, West Sac PD K9. Perfect culmination of resources uh, brought these guys into justice, and luckily, right here before five o'clock. Now, the challenge for these suspects as they were trying to get away: there is a lot of vegetation here, not many places to hide. Uh, did that work in your favor? Yeah, it worked in our favor, but again, it also presented some great challenges trying to cover this big, vast area under the cover of darkness. It was only a matter of time, and obviously we prevailed. Now, they found these suspects not far from where we're standing as we were gathering information. Literally, they were hiding in the brush, in the bushes, and not far from us. Uh, what was the message to the suspects at the time? This could have been a very dangerous situation for all these drivers and the people that live not far from here. Yeah, and very much, there's nowhere to go. Uh, this is a very rural area. It's a designated wildlife preserve. Uh, there's no homes to hide near. There's no brush. It's simply wildlife, so there's nowhere to go north, south, east, or west. I'm glad they actually came to that conclusion and hunkered down and did eventually just give up. Uh, last question, in terms of the technology that really helped uh, this effort, thermal heat is used with these helicopters. How did that spot these suspects in the dark of night? Well, and it's not just the helicopter. We use our drones, the military equipment that everybody's so afraid to talk about. Uh, this is one of the big benefits. This brought a peaceful conclusion to a very volatile situation. So, again, these tools are used to prevent violent incidents from occurring. And that is just what you prevented overnight, a five-hour search effort that came to a peaceful ending just before the morning rush hour. Sergeant, thank you very much. And we will be uh, staying out at the scene. But again, Monica and Conchetta, this started as a home invasion all the way in South Sacramento. They took off in what was presumed to be a stolen vehicle was reported stolen just last night and it ended right here on the causeway in a very highly trafficked area. But as you just heard there, it came to a peaceful conclusion and we have four people now in custody. Monica Conchetta. Great skill and technology used to catch those suspects. Bridget, incredible reporting. We thank you.